worship. Serving is an act of worship. Kung napapansin nyo sa Bible, um, uh, some of the words translated worship in your Bible originally meant service. They are interchangeably. Worship the Lord and serve the Lord. Dun sa EPT, ganon, mas kasi mas intimate yung ginagamit na term. Worship the Lord, serve the Lord. Um, serving it of worship to God. Uh, so, yun nga, serve God by serving others for the Lord's glory as Christ did. So, how can we worship God by serving? Number one, start where you are. And nagmamadali na ako. Sorry, binibilin ko. Number one, start where you are. Minsan kasi we want to serve. Pero gusto mo muna, gusto, pag gusto mag-serve, parang kailangan bongga agad. Parang gusto natin um, either super big step, ganun, diba? ganun yung naisip natin pag serving the Lord. Parang wow, game. Parang malaking step. So, yes, oo, oh, oh, big step siya. Pero it doesn't have to be parang sobrang kailangan makita ng iba. Yung kailangan mong pagsabi, uy, bukas mag-start ako mag-serve kay Lord. Parang ganun. Yung Um, start where you are, number one. And the right place to start is where you are. Kung saan lugar or situation ka ngayon, dyan ka pinapag-start na nerd. Minsan, di ba, gusto natin mag-serve, tapos gusto muna natin nasa maayos tayong situation. Parang, gusto ko mag-serve, pero wag muna kasi may ano pa, may nasikasa pa ako. Or yung parang yun nga, pag hinaan kang loob. Um, gusto mo muna ang piliin. Gusto mo nang, ayan ko, kung mahinitay kang timing bago ako mag-serve, ganun. Alam ko, relate ka. This is before, bago ako mag-serve. Kasi alam ko, most of us nag-serve na. Pero, alam mo yan, di ba? Bago ako mag-serve. Gusto mo, perfect muna. Parang, yali, Lord, ayusin ko muna to. Ayusin ko muna tong area na to. Yung, eh, hindi pa ako deserving mag-serve, ganun. Like, paano? And then we end up not, sige, wag na lang, Lord. Tapos tumatagal, parang wag na lang, ganun. Yan, um, Oswald Chambers wrote, Many people think that God can't use them where they are, but it is certain that God can't use them where they aren't. Um, Saan na ko? Hi guys, nandiyan pa kayo. Nakamute kasi lahat. Ito pala yung feeling. Amen. Yes, nandito pa. Hi. Sige, di ako mag- Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Biglang nag-live na. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Go, aha. Uh-huh. Yes! Let's get it. <laughs> so, yun. Um, di, mo mapipigil, di mo mapipili yung lugar kung saan mo gusto mag-start. It's not up to you. Hindi mo will, kundi, yun nga, will ni Lord. Kaya minsan kapag will mo kung saan mo gustong mag-start, parang hindi sang ayon yung spirit mo. Parang mabigat yung pagsaserve dahil ikaw mismong pala. Parang ikaw yung hindi mo man dinasern, ganon. I mean, nagaan ko. Si ate pang nawala. Tapos, pero pag will ni Lord, di ba, parang, minsan dadailin ka niya sa si area na to. Parang, Lord, bakit dito? Parang, dito ba talaga? Ganon. So, yung, yung word na to, naging, itong number one, yung start where you are. Naging, real siya sa akin. Naging real siya sa akin nung babalik ako ulit sa music ministry. Tapos, dahil ko, bago bumalik, ganun. Parang, ang dami kong rason. Although, makita mo, reasonable naman eh. Parang, reasonable, oo. Oh, pero pag kay Lord, diba, kahit na sobrang valid, wala ka naman excuse kasi pag si Lord tinawag ka niya. Um, yun nga, naging real to nung paakit ako ulit. Siyempre, bagong rules ngayon sa music ministry, kailangan mag-observe ka muna. Tapos, yung nasa isip ko, sobrang kailangan ko pang mag-observe ng matagal. So, ibig sabihin ba, matagal ako, hindi makapag-serve. Tapos, along the way, parang iniisip ko. So, habang naghihintay ako, bago mag-serve, yun naisip ko, mag-serve pa lang ako pag nakaakit na. Pero nung na-realize ko nga na in the, in the waiting, si Lord, inaayos niya ako, parang ikaw, ikaw naman, yung pagsiserve ba, kailangan nakatapak ka sa stage, parang ganyan, yung kailangan ba, dun ka palang inasalang. Pero all, all, 
sa waiting ko, yun na yung naging service ko. Parang serve ako, just the fact na nag-observe ako. Yun nga, parang sa waiting ko, yun na yung pagsaserve ko. Parang hindi siya porket porket as mataas yung ministry or may, may mataas na ministry or ano, parang kunwari, buti pa sila nakakapag-serve um, sa creative ministry, gano'n. So, ako pwedeng mag-serve. Parang gano'n. Minsan, ewan ko kung ako lang yun, pero parang in all, in some areas, hindi mo na-feel na nag-serve ako kasi yung pag-serve pa, kasing bigat ng pag-serve niya. Parang gano'n. Yun na, naisip natin, di ba? Pero, sa totoo lang, si Lord, titignan niya yung heart, hindi naman yung bigat ng pag-serve mo. Hindi naman yung nakikita ng tao. Uy, mas cool siya. So, mas mabigat yung pag-serve niya. Parang ganun. Hindi naman ganun eh. Pero, hindi na isipin yun eh. Parang, lahat ng pag-serve natin, para pareho lang. As long as, nag-glorify sa name ni Lord. Kasi yun naman yung point eh. So, yung, yun nga, start where you are. Iba-iba tayong areas kung saan tayo lalagay ni Lord. Minsan, bakit siya? Nagsiserve siya sa magandang platform. Yung um, ginagamit siya sa ginagamit siya sa Instagram. Parang, parang Lord, mas mukhang ka-serve-servan yun. Parang mas okay mag-serve dun eh. Parang, kesa sa lugar na binigay mo sa akin. ba diba? Sometimes we complain, we question God. Parang, Lord, bakit dito ito mo ako dinala? Parang, mas magagamit ata ako dun. Ikaw yung mag-isip nun. Parang, I mean, inisip mo lang yun sa sarili mong ability, gano'n. Sa credentials na alam mo. Pero si Lord, syempre, si Lord, isipin mo, dalalin ka niya sa lugar na hindi mo pa alam yung abilities mo, pero dun ka lang lalabas. Para pa dun sa credentials na alam mo. Na kung saan na, alam mo lang yung, Lord, dito na lang ako, sa alam ko na eh, magaling naman ako, dito na lang ako. Pero si Lord, dadalin ka niya dun sa area na may palalabasin ka siya para pa dun sa alam mo. Pero, what is this place? Parang, Sinong serve ang ganito? Parang ganun. Ate Chang, sorry. <laughs> Parang, what is this place? Parang, hindi mo alam. Okay, yung iba, nag-serve sila sa platform na ito, malaki. Yung reach niya is, let's say, ewan ko, uh, 100,000, 100,000 people na nakikinig dun sa platform na yan. Pero, yung mga hard dun is, is not ready for you, is not open. Pero si Lord dadalhin kayo sa area na sampu lang. Sampu lang pero lahat yun bukas. Ten hearts lang pero bukas. Alam mo yun, parang si Lord, re- ano ba eh, hindi naman, common sense siya eh, at saka reasonable siya pag kung saan kayo dadalhin. At dun ka perfect, dun ka perfect kung saan kayo nilagay. Um, number two, number two, how can we worship God by serving? Oh, may kumakanta. Hindi <laughs> na yan. Kumakanta. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> si Jerich. Si Jerich ba yan? Si Chan. Ay, si Chan. Number two. Number two, whatever gift you have been give, given, use it to serve. Mm. Yan. Isa pang pwedeng i-reason natin yan bago tayo mag-serve. Third na lang napadala na yung gitara ko kung kailangan ako mag-serve. Or, Lord, pag, pag meron akong yung, ewan ko, kung ano yung kailangan mo na hindi yung pa-afford ngayon or wala ka pa ngayon, pero feeling mo dahil din sa bagay na yun or din, dahil din sa business na yun or dahil din sa, I don't know, kung ano man yun, dun ka pala mag-serve. Hindi sa, pero kung anong meron ka, sa resources mo. Yan, gifts that we have all been given, Gifts that we have all been given. Time, talent, treasure. Yan. Start where you are. Pangalawa is use whatever you have. Use whatever you have to serve. Yan. Time. Meron ka niya. So you can serve. Meron kang oras. Makapag-serve ka. Um, talent. Um, natural abilities. Whatever you're good at. You're good at encouraging. Encourage. You are good at driving. Yan nga. Sinabi ni mother to. You're good at driving drive mo yung mga, mga sisters in Christ, mga brothers in Christ. Um, um, whatever your g- gift is, uh, making people laugh, then make people laugh, gano'n. Um, 
kahit ano pa man na sa tingin mong nakakapag-encourage ng tao, keep doing that. Keep doing that. That is serving others. Um, serving others is serving God. Um, question. Um, meron ba kayo na magkitang ako ng bagay? Hin- mostly yung mga tanong sa atin is uh, may mga bagay ka ba na achievements mo, di ba? Mostly ganyan yung tanong. Mga bagay na hindi mo na achieve ganon something. Pero yung tatanungin ko ngayon sa inyo is something na ginagawa mo na alam mo walang naka-appreciate. Pero when you do it, may konting bitter ano ka bittersweet ka about it like no one sees it pero when you do it alam mo si Lord nagaglorify siya ewan ko a small even ano uh, a small thing kahit sa pinaka walang kwenta yun nga yung tawag dun eh thankless eh, thankless job ganon sa so work kahit na paperwork lang like yung pwede yung bagay na pwede mo nang hindi ayusin pero inayos mo pa Ganun. Anyone? Me, me, me. Honey, me. Okay, yo. Ano, siguro, uh, yung sa work ko, kasi, um, yung, yung work lang namin is supposed to be 7 to 4, but most of the time since work from home started, yun yan, um, minsan papa-extend ako until 7 p.m. May time na umabot ako ng 8 p.m. and that is unpaid. And sometimes okay. hindi naman hindi naman alam kasi ng ng in namin sa Australia na most of us are like extending time ganyan. And um ako as as a team member, it is not already my job like to um assess the team or whatsoever that can help the team. Pero siguro meron ng meron kasi akong meron akong goal na gusto kong ma-achieve ng team and I'm really trying to put a lot of effort on it like trying to improve our process and all but you know minsan hindi mo na minsan tinatanong ko din sa sarili ko why am I doing this ganyan ba pwede naman yung PL ko na lang gumawa ganyan pero um I still do it because I know it will help the team as a whole ganyan it it Kahit na hindi siya napapansin ng people in Australia, ganyan. But I think it feels great whenever whenever na-achieve yung process na mas napadali yung trabaho namin. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. Yun na yung pinaka... Pero minsan, may, meron talaga mga times na hindi naman talaga makikita ng ibang tao yung gano'n. Ayun, yeah. ba? Pero, para ang sap na feeling kasi alam mo si Lord, nanonood siya. Para alam mo si Lord, na appreciate niya yan. Next, magtawag ka na lang. Ah, uh, sino ba? Ah, uh, nandito. Nandito mo ba si Ina? Nakapasok ba si Ina? Nawala na naman siya. Nakapasok ba siya kanina? Kanina nandito lang siya nung nagsiscroll ako. Si Normie na lang. Normie. Um... Wala akong masyadong maisip. Pero siguro si light ng sinabi mong kanina sa work, na feel ko din eh. Like kasi kan- parang ngayon, ngayong araw lang na ito na pumasok ako sa office, gano'n. Tapos hindi naman ba yan. Tapos usually kasi since um, 50% lang yung nakakapasok, syempre merong din iba naman na may work sila na hindi nila magawa today. So since ikaw yung nandyan, gano'n. Um, papasuyo sila. Tapos, madalas, madalas pa nang uutos yung mga boss na pasuyo naman to, pakisuyo muna kasi hindi sila makapasok. So, ang nangyayari, um, parang lahat na hindi ko naman dapat trabaho, tinatrabaho ko na to the point na yung mismo trabaho ko, hindi ka na nagagawa, gano'n. Pero, okay lang kasi trabaho naman yun eh. So, ayun, kailangan pa din gawin. Pero, natutuwa naman ako doon na Parang tinitignan ko siya sa positive side na nakakatulong ako. Yan po. Okay, next. Tuturo ba ako? Oo. Uh-uh. Or it's okay na? Ilan, pa, ilan ba? Sige, hanggang tatlo. Tatlo lang. Mm, hmm. 
Emiko, are you here? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Um, sa work din po siguro kasi as a teacher, wala naman sa job description yung uh, pag-aalaga sa bata. Sa, <laughs> True. Parang stick approach. Yung lahat. Cutie. Yung lahat. <laughs> uh-huh. Kasi grade one sila, tapos may may mga natatae talaga sa ano nila, sa shorts. <laughs> So, sinong maguhugas? Lalo na kapag wala. <laughs> sobra! Yes, sobra. Tapos, sinong mag-ano? So, ako, ako na lang. Ganon. Tapos, yun. Yung parang hindi lang ako, uh, hindi lang ako nagpo-focus sa, sa pagkatuto nila. Kunwari sa mga concepts, ganon. Pero, pati sa ugali nila, ganon. Parang, kinokorek. Ganon. Yun. Yung parang, not written in the DD, pero you're doing it. Yun po. Ay, yun. The, yun sa mga part na, yung mga tinang ko, yung, yung, yun na yung, parang extension pa ng, alam mong pagsiserve mo. Pero pa dun sa, ready ka dun eh. Kasi, you are never ready eh. Parang, hindi naman sasabihin ni Lord sa'yo na ito yung mararamdaman mo pag nag-serve ka. Hindi naman eh, sabihin lang niya mag-serve ka eh. Pero para pa din sa pag-serve mo, parang meron pang mga ibang areas na iha-attack ka ni Lord ka na yung nahihila ka talaga ganun. Which is, dun makikita ni Lord kung uh, uh, aabotin mo ba yun or hanggang dyan ka lang ganun. Parang kung bang nakiki- kung bang hindi na nakikita magsiserve ka pa din sa akin. Parang, kasi nandiyan mo makikita eh. Parang, ay, wala mo nakatingin. Sige, hindi na ako magsiserve. Parang, ha? Magsiserve ba yan? Kung, kung, para lang nakikita. Dyan. So, yun, super, lahat ng sinasabi ko, super, totoo sa akin. Totoo talaga siya sa buhay ko. Kaya sobrang, nag-minister din sa, sa akin to. Nag-minister ako sa inyo lahat. Um, yun, um, treasure. Yung talent and yung natural ability. Sin nga, siguro, umahaba yung pasensya mo, gift yun, sobra. Kasi, hindi lang naman tao, super haba na pasensya nila, di ba? Parang, True. ako talaga, gift. Yun. Si Lord, yung, kag, kapag yung tao, patient siya, hindi mo alam saan galing yun eh, paano siya naging patient. Hindi naman pinanganak siya, patient na siya, di ba? Dumaan siya sa, naging sensitive siya din siya one time, naging maselan din siya one time sa buhay niya. Tawin ko kung ano siya hinatak ni Lord, pero pag may isang kuya mga, pag may isang tao na super passion so, so, so that is a gift. Um, hinapangat lot, treasure, your resources, your ability to make money, ano pa din yan, yun nga, worship yan, hindi yung ibig sabihin, eh, put, ah, uh, Siyempre siya makakapag-worship siya kasi marami siyang pera. Ako wala man akong pera. So, hindi makakapag-serve. Parang gano'n yung... Um, hindi naman ibig sabihin na mas marami siyang gamit, resources, is that makes that person mas angat sa pag sa iyo. Angat sa pag-serve sa'yo. No. Kasi pwede din na mas marami kang time sa taong yun. Sa yung mas maraming gamit. Tapos yung isa, mas talented. And then you can all use you can all use that to serve God. Um, number three, how can you worship God? This is the last pointer. Hallelujah. Praise God. Number three, serve with the right attitude. Yeah, um, whenever you are tempted to complain about everything, keep your attitude holy and courageous in service to the Lord. 1 Corinthians 10, 31 to 33. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the love of God. Don't give offense to the Jews or Gentiles or the Church of God. I too try to please everyone in everything I do. I don't just do what is best for me. I do what is best for others so that many may be saved. Dapat ito yung... Madamat ito yung word ko kanina, di ba? Nag-iba lang ako. Nag-iba ako. So, lumayo pala ako sa series. Sobra. Um, 
yan yung mga sinabi ko is is all about um sir uh, all about worshiping Christ and by worshiping Christ yan yan uh, by serving Christ you are worshiping him um you may have been serving God in all all the areas of your life maybe you don't see it but people will see that parang minsan kasi Um, perspective lang din like ako ah, hindi ka nakapag-serve you know? siguro sobrang tagal mo na nagsiserve siguro matagal ka na nagsiserve pero pero dahil sa sobrang tagal mong serve okay, na nakita ko pagsiserve pa rin yun minsan kasi ganun eh no? sobrang tagal mo na nagsiserve hindi mo alam kung kailangan mo ba mag-step up or you have to stay in that area or like like kulang pa ba Ay, or kulang kulang na ba yung pag-serve mo ganon pero minsan si Lord um, yun nga minsan yung pag-serve mo nakaka nakaka nakakapanghina ng loob kung kailangan ba nakikita ng iba ganon or yun um It's all about perspective. Like, kunare, uh, hindi, hindi na sa tingin mo di ka na nakakapag-serve pero yung iba, nakikita naman nila. Grabe nakaka-bless sa, alam mo yung sa ibang tao nakaka-bless ka, pero ikaw sa sarili mo, but feeling mo hindi ka nakaka-bless. Hindi mo alam kung titigil ka, pero hindi mo alam sobrang may nagluluto para, grabe yung ano to, hindi siya tumigil. Ilang years na siya nag-serve ka, no? parang, pero ikaw, parang, Yan. Um, the whole point of the story is that God has been very generous with you and wants you to use what you've been given to serve Him. Yan lahat ng yan. Lahat ng point. Um, your life is God's gift to you. What you do with it is your gift to God. If you were to if you were to die and face God tonight and had to give an accounting for your life, what would your ledger look like? Have you used your time, talent, and treasure to serve God? Um, great missionary doctor said, One thing I know, the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who have sought and found how to serve. How to serve. Hindi lang siya, alam mo yung nag-serve ka for the sake of serving. Kasi kung nag-serve ka lang, kasi lahat ng kasama mo, nakikita mo, nag-serve. So, gusto mo din mag-serve. Parang, may iwanan ka kasi serving, number one, you should be happy serving the Lord. You should be happy with the Lord. Um, na, na mapapagod ka lang sa pag-serve kapag, yun nga, hindi ka, na, hindi ka na masaya. Then, you have to assess yourself again. You have to check yourself. Why aren't you happy serving? When serving should be like part of your life. Until you die, as me. Until you die, you serve God. Yeah. Um. Only one. The only ones among you who will be really happy are those who will have sought and found how 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 to serve. Yeah. Um. If you really want to be happy serving, um, get over yourself. As in, die to yourself and serve God and serve others. Serving Him is a way of giving back all the glory and praise. Amen. Oh, yeah, Thanks, guideline. Because, um, parang feeling niya lumalayo siya sa ano. But basically, um, for for all of for all of you, no, parang yung pinangugot ni Hani dito is basically service. When I when we actually say praise and worship is actually a weapon, di ba? We're we're on our third installment right now, and uh, that praise and worship is a weapon. And parang incorporate lang siya ni Han in service because basically that praise and worship is actually her ministry. Ganyan. So, si yan, si Cham, nakapag-serve na din sa praise and worship. Ganyan. So, ako din, I'm also part of the the worship team. Ganyan. So, yun. Praise God for your life, Han. We appreciate you. <laughs> let's, let's read Psalm 73, guys. Psalm 73. It's a bit so please be with me. This is um, a song from Asa. I'm sure they just want to meet so they can meet. Okay, 
Psalm 73, I'll read from verses, verse 2. Sabi niya, But as for me, I almost lost my footing. My feet were slipping, and I was almost gone. For I envied the proud when I saw them prosper despite their wickedness. They seem to live such painless lives. Diba? Nakikita niyo ba yun? Parang, bakit ako kansan ako? Pero ba't mas nagpo-prosper yung mga iba? Ganyan. They seem to live such painless lives. Their bodies are so healthy and strong. They don't have troubles like other people. They're not plagued with problems like everyone else. Verse 6, sabi niya, They wear pride like a jeweled necklace and clothe themselves with cruelty. These fat cats have everything their hearts could ever wish for. They scoff and speak only evil in their pride. They seek to crush others. They boast against the very heavens and, and their words of strut throughout the earth. And so the people are dismayed and confused, drinking in all their words. Verse 11, What does God know, they ask? Does the Most High even know what's happening? Look at these wicked people enjoying life of ease while their riches multiply. Did I keep my heart pure for nothing? Did you ever ask the same question as well? Yung parang, you're living a holy life. You're living a life na um, inoobey mo si Lord. Inoobey mo naman. You try your best to actually live a holy life. But then you see other people prosper. Ganyan. Um, sabi dito, Did I keep my heart pure for nothing? Did I keep myself innocent for no reason? I get nothing but trouble all day long. Amen? Kung, kung lalo akong lumalapit, pero parang nararamdaman ko, parang mas lalo akong nagkakaproblema. Sabi niya, every morning brings me pain, sabi ni Asa. If I had really spoken this way to others, I would have been a traitor to your people. So I tried to understand why the wicked prosper. But what a difficult task it is. Amen? We will never like uh, really understood on why other people prosper, even though kahit na try natin with all of our uh, being, buong best natin na um, na antal dito, uh, maging holy ganyan so din si Lord sabi ganyan. Sabi ni Asa, what a, what a difficult task it is. And then verse 17, everybody say then. Sabi that then I went into your sanctuary, O God, and I finally understood the destiny of the wicked. Truly, you put them on a slippery path and send them sliding um, over the cliff to destruction. In an instant, they are destroyed, completely swept away by terrors. When you are when you arise, O Lord, you will laugh at their silly ideas as a person laughs at the dreams in the morning. Then I realized my heart was bitter. This is this is actually like a revelation for me uh, when we're talking about praise and worship. No, is it explained to you, um, na realize ni Asaph, sabi niya, then I realized that my heart was bitter. Because when your heart is bitter, you tend to compare to other people. When your heart is bitter, if you do not guard your heart, you tend to compare your life to others, other people's lives. Sabi niya, and I was all torn up inside, sabi niya. I was so foolish and so ignorant, sabi niya. I must have seemed like a sinless animal to you. Verse 23, sabi niya dito, yet I belong to you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny, whom I have in heaven but you. I desire you more than anything on earth. My health may fail and my spirit may grow weak, but God remains the strength of my heart and He is mine forever. Amen? Verse 27, Those who, those who desert Him will perish, for you destroy those who abandon you. Verse 28, but as for me, everybody say, but as for me. As for me. But as for me, how good it is to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my shelter, and I will tell everyone uh, about the wonderful things that you do. And so this is the heart of Asaph. And I think it's it's, it's definitely like, um, it represents and reflects our heart as well. Because we, we, are, we are not like perfect. Hindi tayo okay. 24-7. We have weeks, di ba? We have days na ganun talaga tayo. Pumapalbang tayo. Sabi nga kanina, di ba? Ang dami, ang dami. Sa inyo nag-share na this is actually one of their lowest season. Ganyan. 
and and that's okay because God does does not de- disqualify us naman when we are on our lowest season but this is what I wanted to catch tonight no like sigudod ko lang kay honey your service to the Lord is very important and how can we use praise and our worship um to 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 be actually a weapon amen sabi ni sabi sabi kan sabi sa kan sabi ni Asaph kanina nakikita niya yun when 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 um w- he understood that his heart is bitter and i really believe um when your heart is bitter you don't spend time with the lord din yung mga pagkakataon that your heart is bitter have you ever ex- experienced like y- y- you were discouraged and then you start listening to like worship songs and then somehow and like then ka tapos talaga nag-speak talaga sa yung 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 lyrics ganyan and somehow it brings it brings you what courage para pinatapang kanya pinakalakas kanya kinomfort kanya the words and the songs that are um, uh, na, na pinapakinggan natin it nagminister sila sa atin and I think alam nyo ba yung songs are very special to the Lord and even the man after his own heart who is what? Kino, sino yung man after his own heart? after God's own heart David David wrote a lot of songs to actually express his love for for the Lord So it is really indeed a weapon. Whenever we, whenever we sing songs to the Lord, whenever we praise to the Lord, and um, worship is actually worship. Something needs to die whenever we give our, whenever we give, or whenever we worship the Lord. That's why it's worship, worship. So, parang it, it's there should be like a sacrifice, di ba? Whenever we do that, um, sa Old Testament kung natatandaan nyo, kung babasahin yung Old Testament, whenever they come to the Lord, they have to, kailangan nilang pumatay, di ba? Kailangan nilang pumatay ng ram, kailangan nilang pumatay ng, ng mga animals, ganyan, just to offer it to the Lord. But right now, we don't need to do that anymore because Jesus is the the lamb that was slain for us. So, hindi tayo kailangan, hindi na natin kailangan gawin yun. Pero, every time that we come to the every time we worship God meron pa rin tayong pinapatay but this time hindi na animal what do you think ano yung kailangan natin patayin whenever we come to God in praise and worship it's our own desires it's our will amen yung i- i- yung sarili mo ikaw yung ikaw mismo yung magiging burnt offering to to uh, pa- para para sa Panginoon and you know praise and worship is not just done not just done every Sunday it's not just done every life gift natin praise and worship it's a lifestyle that we do and it's actually a weapon even na pwede natin gamitin um yun nga yung sinabi ko kanina basically ganun lang yun every time that you, you feel like you are attacked um instead of listening to different kind of music instead of listening sa kahit ano you you praise the lord you thank the lord you worship god because hindi mo alam that in the spiritual realm Um, pinapalakas ka, pinapatatag ka ng Panginoon, nasasagot sa mga panalangin mo, just, just by simply raising your hand to the Lord, just by simply worshiping God, just by simply um, uh, going to God for, um, um, for, for um, praising Him. Have you ever felt sa, nung, yung kapag sa prayer time nyo, yung sa devotion nyo, parang ang hirap-hirap nyo mag-pray. Parang ang hirap mag-breakthrough. Parang, ah, ba't hindi ko nararanasan? Parang wala, parang wala pa siya. Parang ko, na na get na get siya ba yun? yung parang di kayo nagbreak through <laughs> um pero sabi sabi sa ano um sabi sa Psalm 104 sabi niya enter his gates with thanksgiving go into his courts with praise amen so you have to ano parang if you wanna if if you find it somehow um sometimes it's difficult to pray and you 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 feel like you're lost for words tama ba nagdan niya para wala ako ibang masabi When, when you start praying to the Lord, pero wala kang masabi. Minsan nga, iniiyak mo na lang, and that's okay. And sabi, um, parang isang tip lang, or isang practical way lang daw to, para makapag-break ka, para maka-enter ka sa courts ng Lord, is thanksgiving. That is grace. Amen? And, um, another, ano, another, last na lang siguro, another, um, what do you call that? Um, Naririnig niyo ako? At parang, nag, parang may nag... Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, Jesus came from the lineage of Judah. ba? Diba? Alam niyo yun? Yung si, yung si Jesus nag, nag-galing siya sa, um, sa angkan, sa, sa, sa lineage of Judah. Do you know that the name Judah, yung name ni Judah, it means praise. Judah means 
praise. So God is, and, and and throughout the ano throughout the history, God bestowed special favor sa sa tribe ni Judah. And in the same way, sa atin ngayon, in the blessing, ang galing ko nga na, pero naano ako sa nag-echo. Anyway, so parang, um, in the same way, the blessing of God is actually upon those who learn and who understand and who value praise and worship in their lives. Are, are you getting me? But God places a special favor, um, bestowed a special favor sa, sa, sa buhay ni Judah at sa tribe ni Judah because Judah means praise. Um, God is actually dwelling and, and, and giving a special favor and blessing to those who understand, to those who value um, praise and worship to God. Because the greatest blessing under the universe is not what, your trip to whatever or kung ano mang gadget ang magkakaroon ka. The greatest blessing you will ever receive in this entire world, in this universe, is the very presence of God. It is uncomparable sa kahit anuman, yung presence ni Lord ang pinaka-importanting gift. Yung presence ni Lord, yung pinaka-importanting um, gift, o, oh, yun lang masabi ko, gift or um, treasure na meron ka while here on earth. And you can experience more of that when we praise and when we worship the Lord. Are you getting me? And trivia lang, no? Si Judah, kapatid ni Sanino. And Joseph, di ba? <laughs> si Jose, si si Judah kasi kapatid niya si Joseph. Nung um nung nag-uusap-usap yung mga ano, yung mga kapatid niya na iba up na papat pinapapatay, nagbalak sila na patayin na si si Joseph, si Judah. Si Judah lang yung nag-iisang kapatid niya na nagsabi na, "Huwag na natin siyang patayin. Itapon na lang natin siya or ibenta natin siya." Parang ganoon yung ano niya, yung way out niya. And um sabi pa yung it's just just don't know me na Um, when you know, whenever the enemy or the world will try to kill you, praise is actually your way out. Praise will be the one ang um, ang um, pipigil sa yon para hindi matuloy yon. Are you getting? Parang it's just uh, like a revelation that Judah means praise, di ba? At si Judah yung pumigil sa mga magkakapatid na pati na siya na tapusin na yung buhay niya. And I believe same is true with us. God has a purpose for us. God has a wonderful plan for our lives, and Um, the enemy again, John 10:10. The enemy came to kill, kill, and destroy. Tama ba? But Jesus came to give us life and have it to the full. And and our praise is actually another weapon that we can actually use to to what to get out of our of, of certain circumstances, to get out of circums um of of a certain situation. Amen. Um, that whenever we choose to praise the Lord, if kahit na sobrang sakit. Whenever we choose to honor the Lord, whenever you choose to worship the Lord, kahit hindi mo maintindihan, you're actually giving glory to the Lord. You're actually fulfilling your purpose. You're fulfilling the um, the the very purpose na um, na binigay sa iyo ni Lord, the life that God has given you. Amen. So let us not get tired of of, of doing um, of this this praise and worship. No, again, in praise and worship, naman hindi lang nasa nakabasis or naka naka close. Close. Nakabox, I mean, sa pagkanta. Again, it's not it's not just set of rules and uh, set of rituals ganyan or kapag fast song um, praise na yan, kapag slow song worship na yan. No, no, no. That's 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 a lie. Amen. Because worship, bigyan natin ng ano ng definition. Alam ko meron akong definition dito ng worship. Now, Worship is actually seeing God for who He is. Amen. Worship is our revelation of who God is, and in our lives, it is our our response to a revelation of who God is. So, if you see, if you're, kung ito yung revelation mo sa pagmamahal ng Jesus sa yon, kung ito yung revelation mo ng ng pagibig ng Panginoon sa yon, or of who God is, yung worship mo hanggang jan lang, because here that's 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 worship. That's your response to a revelation. Of, of who God is, you know. That's why whenever we come to God, we come as we are, right? Karang pinataas ng Panginoon, or pinagpapakilala si Lord sa atin, through our worship, through our praises, whenever we spend time with God. And, yun nga, our worship is our response kung gaano natin pakilala and who God is in our lives, you know. And again, He is the most important person that we will ever have. He's, our relationship with God is the most important 
relationship that we must treasure amen while we are here on earth amen so question has question um what's the song of your season anong song mo this season Um, Lawrence? Hey, what is it, Normie? Ma, what's the song of your season? Strength of my life po. Planet Shaker. Strength of my life. Nan yung particular line ka rin na mababasag ka talaga. Ma, uh, It doesn't matter what may come my way. You are the strength of my life, Lord. Ah, yes. I give it all to you. Uh, I can't believe it's a matter of what that's going to be. Who's that? Okay. And you, Pili, you're going to be there. Yes, you're going to be there. What's the song of your season? Uh, sa akin po, ano, Who You Say I Am. Oh. Did you hear that? Yes. Sa Netflix yun eh. Yung, ano, ano mother, yung movie. So, dinedefine, parang dinedefine ka ng music na yun na kapag kinanta mo siya, as in, iiyak ka. Hmm. And, and the good thing about, Ganun siya, you know, sobrang feel na sa inyo. True. And the good thing about, nagre-read ba ako? Yun nga, the good thing about, yun nga, listening to this kind of uh, songs, no? Yung parang, nare-remind ka of who you are. Right? Nare-remind ka of who you are in the Lord. Ganyan. Kaya, And when you are, you are your, mirap ng dosen. You are your bravest when you when who you when you know who you are. Gets mo ba? Yung parang um <laughs> pinaka matapang ka pag naiintindihan mo siyono ka. Gets mo? Kasi kapag confused ka on who you are, you 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 tend to what? You tend to give your um you tend to tao dito potol-potol or divide your attention, right? Pero, but whenever you are sure of who you are, mas tumatapang ka. Whenever you, you, sh- um, you are sure on who you are in the Lord, whenever you sing that over and over and over again at nare-remind ka at may instill siya sa spirit mo, ganyan, then mas lalo kang na, na-encourage, right? And mas um, nat- nagiging totoo siya sa buhay mo. Come on. Cham, what's the song of your season? Me is Oxygen. Oxygen ni Justin Bieber. Charot! Ito <laughs> <laughs> lang. Uh, hindi po. Ni Ay, Stephanie, Stephanie ba yun? Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie. Yes. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah. Girl, sure, sure. Sure, sure. Ano lyrics niya na ano? Na yung sa-bridge part niya, yung my life, blood, my true love, my reason, my, my because, my hope Aww. when I'm hopeless, you never run out, you're the sun. Isolid. Kapag din yung parang may go-to song ka, di ba? Kapag tutubo yeah. na ko pray ka, may go-to song ka na parang intro na, paano mamaksing ka na yung gano'n. Mm. <laughs> so, kapag, kapag yun na yung parang nakas na sa playlist ko, gano'n. So, parang alam ko na ito na yun. Mm-hmm. Narapin na si Pina. <laughs> <laughs> na ako. <laughs> ito na yun. <laughs> okay. Si, um, si ano, si Emiko. At the song of your season? Oceans po, Mother. Ooh, anong lyrics ba nag-arema sa'yo? Ma- madami po dito, pero yung pinakagusto ko, when oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace po. Mm. Okay, ikala ko explain niya. Nakita na ko. Ah, sige. Si Ronnie. Ronnie? Hello po. Where's um, <laughs> your video? Naka-off po. Hi. Um, actually, marami po eh. <laughs> you can just give one. Uh, uh, sa season mo. Sa season ko po ngayon, yung kanina, ang pinasound ko, yung uh, Build My Life. Hindi ko po alam kung sino yung original nun. Pero, <laughs> may... Nagita ko lang po kasi siya sa YouTube na sakto lang na autoplay tapos um nung Di ba Bethel? 
Battle po yung ano, revive. Pero hindi po, hindi ako sure kung yun. Wait lang, search po natin. That's <laughs> okay. Anong line doon yung ano mo? Parang nag-rema sa'yo? Um, Ayong, yung po sa... Uh, yung pong ano, sabi niya, uh, worthy of every song we could ever sing, worthy of all the praise we could ever bring, worthy of every breath we could ever breathe, we live for you. So, bali, nag-rema lang po sa akin yung part na yon kasi... Yun po yung introduction, yung ano niya, yung pasok, yung pasok niya. So, nung pong narinig ko yun, bigla na lang po akong naluha kasi naisip ko po na lagi na lang. Puwede sa Lord. Lagi na lang pong, ano, lagi na lang po sinasabi ko na I'm gonna live for myself, gano'n, na buhay ko oh. ito, ganyan. Tapos, um, you know, no one can stop me or no one can judge me, gano'n. Yung pa, ina-apis ko po yung sarili ko kapag nadadown ako na sinasabi ko para naman sa akin to ganyan, or para na, oh. Para sa akin, buhay ko, gano, no, one, no one can dictate me, gano, na uh, gan, ganitong gawin or ganyan. Tapos, nung po sinabi niya na yung will live for you, yung part na yun. So, bali, mm. na, na correct po ako doon na you're not living here for yourself. Kasi, di ba, Christian ka, so you're, you're my follower, you're, you're my, kasi yung pong name ko, na, na, na Pinagita rin po sa akin ni Lord yung name ko kasi yung meaning ng name ko is Christian Veronica. So, follower of Christ, face of Jesus. So, parang talagang nag-ano po sa akin yun na you don't live here for yourself. You live here for me. So, yeah. Amen. Hendrix. Hello. Um, yung sa akin na ano, uh, seasons. Oh. Oh. Oh, the winter Anong, anong line doon yung nag-rema sa'yo? Um, sa akin naman, I believe that my season will come. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Na-bless kayo doon. Hinayin niya yung sarili niya. Na-bless kayo doon. <laughs> I believe that my season will come. Kailangan pa bang i-explain? Yes. Hindi na. It's okay. Yes, that's right. So, parang nasa waiting ka. Come on. Ina. What's the song of your season at ano yung Rema? Um, sa akin po yung I Just Want You, yung Planet Shakers, um, yung mismong ano yun, yung mismong title na yung pinakita sa akin. Oo. Kasi parang, dun pa lang sa akin, I don't know. Hindi na, 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 na yung part na yun. Kahit yung mga 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 pinagdadaan, dun pa lang sa I Just Want You, so gumagaan na, sobrang, tumatapang ka ulit yung parang hmm. okay, parang nabubuo ka na ulit parang kaya mo na ulit tumayo ano um, napakinggan mo na ba yung nothing else ni Cody Corns? um di pa po try mo pakinggan parang ganun pero basag din <laughs> nothing else nothing else um si Mads Maddie me um lately i haven't been listening to oh. any worship song so new oh, wine i'm a new wine <laughs> i'm a new wine wait um ah ba oy grabe what a secret joke okay anyway yeah pass next <laughs> oh Yeah, oh, well, yeah so, uh, this this word yeah, it's, is for us to ano mas lalo. I know that's why I mentioned the tama ano ano ibong. Okay, good. <laughs> that's the ano <laughs> naman. That's the reason why we do this, not to condemn ano, but to encourage and to um um to remind everybody. Because we are all so much. talaga tayo eh. So Christine, Christine, are you here? I'm here. Hello. What's the song of your season? What's your all-time parang favorite song, worship song? Um, when Keep I have, when I have really bad anxiety, I I like to listen to Not in a Hurry. Mm. Will, Will, Will William. Will, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. In pursuit, yung cover yeah. nila or even when it hurts. Yeah, those are my those are my top two go-to songs. Because 
um, it just reminds me that even if um, everyone's growth you just have to take it at your own pace even if it's slow how fast you are and we shouldn't look at others growth and compare it with ours because you know it's a it's a process it's a prog it's a progress that we within ourselves and it's our own relationship and yeah those two songs thank you Tien. honey Tuna. what's the song of your season reckless reckless love sana pero sobrang masyadong ano yon basag basag sa akin yun. so Kasi alam mo ba try mong i-search yung ano han reckless love ni Cory sa Heaven Come concert nakita mo na ba yon i live in live dito oh, pero oh. lahat ng birth so Lid, um inexplain niya doon yung heart ng no, context ng reckless love hey so Lid, pagulgol <laughs> bala ko diyan mm. ano panoorin nyo sa YouTube. Endless, ano? Endless? Reckless, endless love pala. My love. Ano pinapanood mo? There's so many. Hindi, pero spirit poop na ngayon. Mga spirit poop, yung Bethel. Kasi yung sa adlib pa lang. Alam mo yung adlib ma? Oh, as you wait. You're new. Din pa lang basag na ako. He's renewing your strength. Tapos, wapin, wapin. Yung meron yung another day. Basta yun, yun pa lang, eh, alarm ko. Kaya parang yung yung pagtayo ko sa umaga, sobrang bigat. Kung hindi ko, kung hindi ko yung marinig, gano'n. Yan, spread mo, the best. Ako ano, wala naman lang tatanong, pero gusto ko lang t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Ako yung champion. Dante Bo. Pwede nga. Champion. You are my champion. Giants fall when we stand and defeated. Sobra. Pakinggan niyo ako. Eh, solid. Sobrang ganda. Okay, siya. Oo, champion. Bago lang. Bag- Last year pa yun, after, nung, after ko mag-preach nung... Naalala niyo pa yung come out champion na preaching? Like, uh, after... Yeah. Yun, tas after ilang weeks, may kanta. About goal. Kaya sobrang amazing. And it's already out in Spotify. Ganyan. So, if you wanna pakinggan. Tapos, um, yun lang. Praise God for the night. Thanks for being um here again tonight sino yan at enormi ka ka join sa atin army norms norms yes po sorry na wala na akong internet tapos It's na po okay. ba oo oh, oh. jojola what's the song of your season saka anong rema tayo before we close ngayon po Wait lang. Nawalo mabasa na nga niyan. Yung makaini. <laughs> Wait lang, tingnan niyo muna yung pinag <laughs> Hindi man po. Pero ano pa din, gusto ko pa din, parang nakukomfort ako pa lagi yung dilim, gano'n. Every time na pinapatugtog ko siya, like every day ko po pinapatugtog yun. Kasi eh, feeling ko every time ina-anxious ako, every time. Mabigat po. Para pag pinatugtog ko yun, sobrang nagiging okay na po ako. So, Every day. Tapos, papatugtog mo lang yun ng ilang beses at hindi mo na alam mo yun. Without saying anything. Tapos, pap- papakinggan ko lang yung song na yun. Parang, nagubuhos ka na kasi lahat mo eh. Yun po. Sobrang comforting yun sa akin. Yun po. Marinig po ba ako? Yes! Okay. Yes! Thank you. Thank you, nurse. Ako pala hindi nyo naririnig. Anyway, lahat so, na naka-Spotify. Meron bang hindi naka-Spotify dito? Si Pam? Saka? Or ito may Spotify naman. Ah, Halos. Na. Yes. Pero, begawa sana tayong playlist. Pero that's our, that's our Do Differently this week. Um, gawa tayong playlist ng Siguro if you can send your, yun nga, yung mga songs na, na if, not just one, at least one, hanggang two or three na songs na songs nyo, send nyo sa group chat and then I'll create a list and then I'll send um, a, ang tawag dito, um, playlist para sa Fruit Bears playlist. Yes. Para pakinggan natin, ganyan, um, i-share natin. Um, okay ba yun? Is that, is that okay? That's gonna be our do differently. We're gonna soak into the uh, presence ni Lord to our praise and worship. Um, 
can we make a fruit? Yes, that's what we're gonna do. That's our do differently. We're gonna, yun nga, sabihin nyo lahat ng songs na gusto nyo, or parang, hindi hanggang tatlo na lang, baka masyado madami. At least one, so one to three, na worship song na, gust, um, na nag-minister sa inyo. And then, I'm gonna compile it sa isang playlist. Um, tapos yun yung papakinggan natin starting tomorrow or tonight, okay? Or the rest of the week. Okay ba yun? So that we can practice, practice, you know, inviting the presence of God through praise and worship. And gumalakas tayo every time we do that. Alright? Especially now that we are now on our third weapon. Amen? Next week, we're gonna talk about the Word of God. Come on, I'm excited. Um, yes, yes, yes. It's gonna be Cham who will be sharing no next week. So, praise God. Walang mag-absent. And let's continue to invite people 